Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is basically related to Android 13. Yes, Android 13. Most probably you heard about it. So basically Google has released Android 13 beta 1 and has sent out a call for bug hunters. Find bug in it and you'll get 50% bonus reward payout. So in short, basically Google is paying 50% extra on Android 13 bucks if you're finding on it. So they should hurry up through and the offer may expire so on May 26, 2022. So getting Android 30 is like according to Google, they are saying getting Android 13 as secure as possible before the final release. Android will and according to Google focus on build a responsibility and high quality platform for all by providing a safer environment on the devices and more control to users with features such as more granular privacy for media files access, a new permission which is nearby Wi-Fi devices and a privacy sandbox will be introduced in this Android version. So this is good news, bug, bug hunters just get it and you'll be most probably you'll be getting the uh, Android 13 beta version for the testing. Now next news related to Russian hackers. So basically a Russian state sponsored threat actors has been observed targeting diplomatic and government entities as part of series of phishing campaign commercing on January 17, 2022. So basically the threat intelligence and the incident response from Mandiant attributes the attacks to have a hacking group dressed at APT29 which is also called Cozy Beer and with some set of activities associated with the crew assigned the moniker Nobelium which is also called as UNC2452-2652. So what do you what do you think? What is the level of Russian hacker? Just comment it down. Now next news is related to Pegasus. So basically like Jan Chodnevala, but basically there's a lot of news. The reveals are coming nowadays related to Pegasus. So basically the Spanish government has said the government the mobile phones of the Prime Minister Pedro Sinchez and the Defense Minister Margita Robles were both infected last year with the Pegasus spyware that its manufacturer's claim is available only to the state agencies. So what do you think? Uh, why Pegasus was uh, uh, spread everywhere? And do you know what is Pegasus? Just comment it out. Now the last news is related to Mozilla. So an investigation into mental health and prayer app has revealed a distributing and disturbing lack of concern surrounding user security and privacy. So basically on Monday, uh, means today, Mozilla released the finding of a new study into these type of apps, which often deals with a sensitive topic, including depression, mental health awareness, anxiety, uh, domestic violence, PTSD, and more alongside religion themselves services. So are you using any uh, health application? If yes, uh, just tell me what kind of health application you see. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. You may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So thank at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.